Hello everyone, Nubkex here. Welcome back to Nub Raids. And in today's video, we're diving in to a bit of a changing arena meta. Uh, I've, uh, I bought this Forge Pass and I've finished it now in the last few days. And we've got a whole bunch of this bolster gear in the game, right? Bolster gear, a protected shield set. And I want to show you today a showcase of, I think, a champion that has come back into the meta as a really good option for you that you might not be using. Uh, that can absolutely smash when he's in bolster set. I've actually gotten to goal three tag arena. I think he was really helpful for pushing up to that. It's the, the highest I've ever been in tag. Uh, if we look at like the defense log here in classic, you can see after the reset here today, Antonio, he had a few goes at us actually, and then he, he lost, but uh, no, he beat me actually in the end. Uh, and then like the defense log is looking really solid. Like we are, we're really punishing people. Uh, we got smashed a bit before the reset, that's okay. But yeah, like it's it's not bad at all. Let's find like a pretty scary-ish team. This would be a pretty scary-ish team. And let's go in here. And this is the team that I'm typically using. And the champion we really want to showcase here is Harvest Jack. He's coming in in a bolster set. Why is that so good? He has massive base HP. So we're gonna build him with really high HP. And he's gonna give our team this really powerful shield that's gonna help them stay alive even after stone skin falls off or if buff strips happen, it doesn't matter. That shield is protected, it can't be removed. On top of that, he's got a really good passive here. When attacked, he decreases the duration of all buffs on the attacker by one turn. So he's a really, really good punching bag. Then he comes in with an AoE True Fear and decreased speed and turn meter pushback. He can also sleep if the True Fear doesn't land. Now mine's not fully booked, so this doesn't have the fullest chance to land, but nonetheless, let's go in and let's see what happens. Now the other thing I've done recently I have changed uh, my Mithrala build, and I'll show you that as well, of course. She's now wearing four pieces of stone skin, so she does have stone skin. I just found it to be super helpful that even if they try to strip or they do increase accuracy, it's fine. So look at that, Trunda did her nuke. Um, we had our passives blocked, but the shield protected. The shield protected, and bam, we come in, and look at that. Absolutely beautiful, right? Okay, actually, the fight's not the fight's not over. Um, um, what? Uh, whoops! Fight's not over yet. It's almost beautiful. We'll be there in a second. Almost, almost. We don't get the double hit because we didn't have any buffs there on the torment. There we go. Fantastic. We take them down. You can see that Trunda. That was a plus one Trunda after Romantu had come in and come in and tried to strip us, and we were able to tank through. Pretty damn cool. Um, this team doesn't have too much damage. Uh. Let's see it against a Hegemon team. That's perfect. I see it up against a Hegemon team, how this team can work. Then maybe we'll hit the refresh and get some new teams. Um, but yeah, <laughs> pretty cool, right? So again, just look at how tanky they're going to be. The, look at the size of the shield on Kandrophon right there. They smack us. Yes, we've got stuns out here. We've been beat up. That hurt a lot, but we did just barely survive. And there we go. We finally get a turn. Okay, that's good. We finally get a turn. And boom, we actually smack a few of them down. I do have Kandrophon. This might be a mistake. I'm not 100% sure. I do have him with his A3 enabled, which you normally wouldn't do. Uh, but I am doing it here because we don't have someone else to give him a uh, perfect fail. Like, if you have a Duchess, I don't have Duchess. But if you have Duchess, she's, like, way better than Brogni in this team comp. That would really push this comp up uh, to the next level. Um, but, yeah, there you go. Boom. Another win. Pretty damn cool, right? Pretty damn cool. Let me show you the builds and let me explain what's going on. So let's go to the, the man of the hour here at the moment, I think. Harvest Jack. He is coming in with that bolster set. It also, by the way, heals him a good chunk every turn as well, which is nice. It helps him to stay alive. And that helps him to, again, just, just do more of this deep buff reduction. It's so he's, he's such a good punching bag. He's an amazing punching bag. It's pretty great. Uh, it's, his power is actually super low. His gear is also not fully rolled up. A couple of pieces still to go. But how I've built him out, you can see with that massive almost 27,000 base HP, I've got him up to about 90,000 health. So it's not quite a 30,000 protected shield for the team, but it's not too far off. It is very substantial. He's got 2,000 defense, 200 speed. Uh, he's just sort of general stats across the board, nothing too special. I've tried to crank his accuracy, though, as high as I could. He's up to about 460 accuracy. He does need accuracy for this passive, so it's still a little bit low. We could perhaps use Mithrala in the lead for her accuracy aura, which will benefit her and make him more consistent with his buff stripping. But I think against um, a lot of damage dealers, especially AoE damage dealers, he's just going to be ripping buffs off them like crazy. Then 
Like I said as well, he's got the AoE True Fear with decreased speed and turn meter. He then has an AoE that can put block buffs on targets under fear. This isn't great because we're running him here in a slow team. So by the time, you know, he, he might place the True Fear, but it's going to have fallen off by the time he gets back to his A2. So I haven't found this super useful. It can strip off increased attack and continuous heals though, and replace them with decreased attack and poisons respectively, which is quite useful. And then his A1, each hit ha is triple hitter, with each hit having a 25% chance of stealing a random buff from the target, and a 25% chance of placing fear if the target has no active buffs. Um, if he's stolen buffs, he definitely does place fear. So that's pretty cool, right? That's sort of what's going on there. This is very unreliable. This is going to get a lot better with books. Going up to a 35% chance times three feels a lot better than 25% times three. So it, it, it makes quite a difference. But like I said, he is unbooked for me right now. I have not booked him, but I'm definitely, I'm definitely considering I will book him. In terms of masteries, I went like this. So we went all the way down to Eagle Eye. We're trying to get just as many accuracy boosters as we can. Um there's lots of different things you could do to be honest like there's lots of different things you could do you could grab him the shield bearer that might be okay just for that extra little tick to the shield at the start of the fight he doesn't cast any other shields though so i don't know if it's super useful uh you could get him maybe improve parry instead of blast proof and then get him uh sorry this one wisdom of battle chance to get block debuffs that could be kind of handy for him um and then I think the most important thing, though, you have to get Harvest Despair. And the reason you really want Harvest Despair is because his name is Harvest Jack and it needs to match. It needs to match. So, yeah, actually, because he places fears, the leech debuff is quite handy to throw out as well. So there we go. Uh, we had Brogni in the same team. He's also in Bolster. Now, you don't actually need everyone to be in Bolster. You can put... So long as there's one bolster set in there, all the other shield sets that are in at the same time, it combines them all into the one buff and the buff does get protected. So you could have other champions in a shield set, HP based champions, and just build a massively tanky team. I think it's something that's worth exploring. Like you could have like Harvest Jack in a bolster set. You could have a Deliana in a bolster set. You could have Mother Cybele in a bolster set. You could have a Krisk going in in a bolster set. These champions who all have really high HP. Uh, or you could go in maybe with someone like Bivald of the Thorn, even higher HP and lots of team healing. And you could build a super tanky team. You could do some really creative stuff. I think it's fun. Uh, but yeah, there you go. Brogni, I'm still, as you can see, also rolling up his gear. Uh, both of these champs in the bolster set, I do have with double reaction, which helps a lot as well. Harvest Jackie's double reaction. This is going to help them from being nuked down. Um, but it's not necessary. So for example, I've got one reaction on Candrophon. He is in swift parry to try to save him if he's going to die. But as you saw... With the shield that he's getting, he was able to tank through an absolute ton. His passive helps too. I think that's the fun thing about this, right? He has about 40,000 health. We're getting about a 30,000 shield from Harvest Jack. Probably about a 20,000 shield from uh, from Brogni. You know, he's got like an, an entire second health bar of shield at the start of the fight that is protected. It can't be removed. It can't be stripped off. And I think that's just hilarious. It's it's really, really powerful. It would be better if he had some more uh, more reaction, of course. But yeah, he's built pretty well. He's got 280% crit damage, so he's smacking hard. Five, uh, 5,700 here. Now, he doesn't have uh, Savage, of course. He is getting some a uh, big chunk of bonus crit damage from Swift Parry. That's why it looks good. Uh, but it, it is good. <laughs> it is good. There we go. He's got these masteries. Brogni's masteries are like this. And then Mithrala, she's coming in with these masteries. So accuracy really is the main thing. And she's now in four pieces of stone skin to give her that stone skin, just to give her the 50-50 that even if you're up against an increased accuracy champion, 50-50 that they still can't stop you. And then you come in and cleanse the team. It just makes it very difficult, I think, to deal with her. I I've, I've felt that fighting against her myself. It is a nightmare when you're trying to deal with her. Let's hit the refresh. Let's um, hit up some more teams. Uh, this team we would struggle with. It's just going to be a battle of, of more two. Uh, this is an interesting one right here. This is a spicy one. Uh, we could try this. I feel like we probably lose this. Let's give it a go. Let's show you the other variant because there's other champs you can put in here. Of course, I've already said Duchess is much better than Brogni. Brogni's shield clashes with Mithrala's shield. Uh, he's just there for the block debuffs and increased attack, especially the increased attack for Kandrophon. Duchess would be better because she gives you a revive, which is awesome. And she also gives you the perfect fail for Kandrophon, the other champion. So she, she'd be a lot better. But uh, this is what we've got. So we'll try this with more too. You could also try it with uh, champions like... Um, I mean, Rotos, 
uh, Mountain King. Any tanky nuker is going to do the job. This is going to be pretty scary because they've got a whole lot of stone skin. They're actually very slow. <laughs> They're very, very slow. Okay, well, we'll hit them here. He's going to smack us. He did resist some of the... Yeah, he's resisting some of the uh, the buff strips from Harvest Jack, but hopefully it's going to kick in a little bit. Yeah, you can see his buffs are being stripped off, stripped off, stripped off by Harvest Jack, which is pretty cool. Now, we are getting fairly slammed. He's doing a lot of counterattacks. Let's see what we can make happen here. Uh, this is really unlucky, so more to... He has a 20% chance every time he's hit to unlock the secret skill. He just did not want to unlock it, unfortunately. So no luck there. We'll smack her, try to start killing her off. Um, we could try to steal buffs. I don't want to do this AoE because he's going to start doing some nasty things. Let's try steal buffs off of her. He has st stolen some of them. That's cool. I think Mortu is screwed, though. He's got... Yeah, he's popped his thing. But we're in real trouble here. This team is definitely... Struggling again. Oh, no, don't hit him, Mithrala. What are you doing, Mithrala? Hitting him extra. We don't want that. We don't want that. Hit her as well. He's got almost 200k here. Scary stuff, to say the least. Scary, scary stuff. Uh, again, let's hit her. He stole the shield. Uh, at this point, this is tricky. In order to win, we should probably kill off him. Um... Killing her is pretty valuable as well. I, d I don't really know what to do at this point. We really needed him to proc Peril earlier. I think we're screwed. Uh, we can block Revive on him. Uh, I, I mean, I, I get we certainly have to kill Cupidus, right? We get the shield back on. We'll give it a go. But, uh, yeah, we'll see. <laughs> we'll see what we can do. Yeah, he's fallen over there. That's unfortunate. And we might be able to, to deal with them. Just with stealing the buffs and whatnot, we've certainly got to try kill her. In fact, I'm not going to waste your time. We're just going to end battle. It's going to be too slow. So you can see, it's not a foolproof team. It's not a perfect team uh, by any means. But it is a very, very strong team, I think. Like, we come in against this team. Let's give this one a shot. This is a pretty scary-looking team. And we can come in here. So hopefully what's going to happen here is, yeah, they're going to try to land all their debuffs. Like, Gaius is going to bomb us and all the rest. Uh, but... Mithrala should hopefully just strip all those bombs off and it should be we hope no major stress we will see if it works or not there we go big hit coming in it's looking pretty scary but boom Mithrala strips us off we imagine in our heads that we do have a duchess <laughs> we get the kill right there this might be where it would be better to have him go in an a1 uh, in this particular fight but it's hard to know when and where to do it and again you can see this team it's it's hard for them to make a dent. That's really that stone skin Mithrala hard countering right there. Really making it difficult for him. And again, even if they have increased accuracy, it's like, yeah, guys can land the bombs, but you can't sleep her. Um, it's just very powerful. Let's do one more here against the speed team. Let's see it against the speed team. But yeah, have you guys been building anyone in bolster set? What if you... Or have you fought anyone in bolster set that's super scary? I'd be really curious to 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 hear what you guys have seen. We might get one shot. No, never mind. We still survive, uh, even with a decreased defense and Candrophon slamming from Perfect Veil vale with increased attack. We still manage there to slam through, which is just pretty nice. The buffs get stripped off of her. It's actually a little unfortunate in a sense because there we boom, Candrophon takes him down. Lovely. It's a little unfortunate. It means he can't double hit with his A1. But yeah. Harvest Jack. <laughs> like I said, it's been a successful defense. People don't seem to know what to do with it. They're very flustered. Uh, Harvest Jack with a bolster set. It's it's actually kind of legit. It's, it's legit. Not the best. He's not the best champ in the world. He's not the best champ. But I tell you, if you're looking for a high HP punching bag that's going to protect your team and especially has a really good passive and then a good chance if they don't have block debuffs of throwing out a nice bit of CC, even unbooked, this guy, he does a fantastic job. So there you go, guys. Hope you enjoyed. Thank you for watching. Uh, I've been having a lot of fun. I just, I think Harvest Jack is so damn cool. Like, he's such a cool champion. It's been really exciting to actually get to to build him up, level him up, and actually use him. It's been, it's been brilliant. So there you go. I'll see you all next time. Bye-bye.